In today's video we'll be talking about irritable bowel syndrome. This syndrome is associated with abdominal pain and altered bowel habits. So the patient usually has constipation or diarrhea or sometimes they can have cycles of constipation and diarrhea. With irritable bowel syndrome, there are no structural abnormalities and no detectable pathological processes. That means that the cause of irritable bowel syndrome is not fully understood. The symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome include abdominal pain, which is largely due to intestinal spasms. Other symptoms include bloating, which is due to intraluminal gas. This is just gas which is present inside the lumen of the bowels or the intestines. And the cause of it can be due to things like swallowing air, gases in the intestines not able to diffuse properly, and even the fermentation of short-chain carbohydrates by bacteria. Stress is also another factor which is associated with irritable bowel syndrome, and patients usually report that after a stressful episode or a stressful event, that is when their symptoms of IBS usually increase. The cause of irritable bowel syndrome, as we've mentioned, is largely unknown, and in itself, it's a very complex disorder. There are quite a few theories to help understand the cause of irritable bowel syndrome, and to mention them briefly, some of them involve the extrinsic and intrinsic nervous system of the intestine, and that there's a lower threshold. So people with IBS are generally more sensitive to pain due to the lower threshold of nervous impulses. It's also been noted that even though there's no inflammation in the intestines, there's still a higher influx of inflammatory cells like lymphocytes into the colons of people affected with irritable bowel syndrome. And it's also been noted that people who have previously had an intestinal infection, those people are the ones who develop irritable bowel syndrome and it's said to be a silent continuation of that initial infection. Since the cause of irritable bowel syndrome is not fully understood, the treatment goals for people with irritable bowel syndrome is largely symptomatic, so we aim to treat the symptoms of the disease. So this method of treatment usually involves dietary modifications, so diets which reduce the amount of short chain carbohydrates are recommended. So this involves avoiding certain foods like apples, cabbage, beans and certain fruits. Eating a diet which is low in short chain carbohydrates has been shown to reduce IBS symptoms. Other treatment methods for IBS include fiber supplementation and there are also medications which affect serotonin. So since serotonin affects the gut motility, you can either give serotonin agonists or antagonists. So it said that people who have diarrhea predominant IBS, it said they should be given serotonin antagonists and people with constipation predominant IBS, they should be given serotonin agonists. Other medications that you can give include mast cell stabilizers and antihistamines because they have both been proven to reduce the discomfort associated with irritable bowel syndrome.